Hey everybody, I haven't made a video in a very long time. And I say that a lot like now, don't I? Um, I haven't been on YouTube as much as I'd like to, but I was perusing videos and I saw something that um, I thought I'd like to respond to. I'd like to preface it first. I do not normally watch Dancing with the Stars. I've caught it a couple times, but really I think the last time that I saw it was when Paul McCartney's ex-wife was on there, which was several seasons ago. So um, I'm not a regular watcher of this program, but that doesn't, I think, stop me from being able to make the social commentary that I'm going to make. Um, Christopher L., um, he's a Christian here on YouTube, made a video questioning whether or not uh, Dancing with the Stars retained its label as a family-friendly show because they had uh, the transgendered Chaz Bono, formerly Charity Bono, on the show. And um, I, I would just like to comment to that um, because I just wondered why it was that because a transgendered person was on a show that it automatically meant that this the show was family was no no longer family friendly now we can have an entirely separate argument as to the ethics of you know transgender surgery and you know the the act of making one person from one sex and transferring them to another sex um, whether or not there's any you know ethical or, or logical reason to do that is, you know, something that someone could argue in another video. I personally think that in this country, people have the choices to do what they want with their own bodies. Um, and so, regardless of their reasoning, as long as they're in sound mind, I think they should be able to have such a surgery. So, setting aside for a moment whether or not you think it's right, um, that isn't really the issue at play. Um, suggesting that somehow someone's very existence makes a show offensive or not appropriate for children, um, I find that offensive. I mean, it, it's, it's on its face to be bigotry against people who are transgendered. Um, and really, it's it's kind of it's kind of interesting when you think about it because we see a lot of these issues more than you would think. Okay, I'm going to take you back to a couple different shows in the you know several several decades ago. Okay, um, there was a show, very popular show. It was only it was a short lived show, but a very popular show, and um, it was on it was on the air, and um, it had a very kind of ground breaking moment where a white man kissed a black woman. Um, it's a very popular show. A lot of people know about it. It's called Star Trek. Um, <laughs> and um, at the time, that was a very controversial thing. And a lot of people said that show is not family friendly because it shows, um, you know, a biracial relationship, mixed race relationship, that those type of things should, should be sheltered from our children because, you know, so a lot of people at the time believed that that one race shouldn't be with the other race. Now, of course, our society has changed. We have evolved. Most people now believe, myself included, that it doesn't matter what race that you're the the person that you're with, as long as it's a good, healthy relationship. That's what matters. And so, this is kind of a a, a, a similar issue. Back then, they hadn't really seen on television you know, white men with black women or vice versa, okay? They hadn't seen that. They hadn't seen a lot of mixed race relationships. And so the idea of exposing that to children was a concern because the, the children had not been exposed to that. And they didn't, um, I guess they were afraid that parents wouldn't know how to explain it to them. I'm not sure. But a lot of people, you know, because they disagreed with um, mixed race relationships back then, found the show to be not family family friendly because it disagreed with their values. Now, that doesn't mean that a show was not family friendly. Just because it disagrees with your values doesn't mean that a child can't understand that. Okay? Because not everybody in society is going to agree with your values. But just because they don't doesn't mean that they their existence on the face is offensive. Okay, you're suggesting 
by suggesting that the presence of this one person makes a show offensive to children, that, that this person should be shunned and shuddered from children, not just on television, but in real life as well. I mean, because what difference does it make if they see them on the screen or if they see them in real life? If they see them, they should have that explained to them. So, really, what I see with Dancing in the Stars and the Chaz Bono issue is an opportunity to explain to children that this is a person that used to be female and has now transitioned to being male, you know, and if you're not okay with that or you're okay with that, whatever, you know, but the idea is to tell children that those people are out there so that they can be tolerant of them, okay? It, you don't have to push your values point on it at all. I mean, because they are people, and, you know, if you are, especially if you're a Christian, you should, you know, didn't Jesus say that you should love, you know, everybody, love your neighbor and everything like that, and and treat others as you would want to be treated. So imagine that you're Chaz Bono, okay? And whatever feelings are going on within Chaz Bono to make this decision, it was a very brave decision. It was not something that he must have done lightly. Okay, it must have something been something that he really had to have thought out to do because it does face in this culture a lot of ridicule. Okay, so imagine for a moment that you're Chaz Bono. Okay, would you, looking at other people, would you want to be treated the way that you were treating Jazz Chaz Bono? And if that's the case, don't you think that the 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 presence of someone like Chaz Bono? on that show is an opportunity to teach your children that tolerance about about people who are different from us so that we can treat those people the way that they ought to be treated. I think that, you know, the whole idea of someone's very presence making a show offensive is offensive. <laughs> you know, um, I think that we can get past these issues, whether or not you agree with gender reassignment surgery or not. It's something that people can do. It's present in our society and should be explained to children. You're not talking about sex to them or anything that they can't understand. It's gender. They know about boys and girls. Okay, so the idea that, that, that Chaz Bono's presence on a show would make the show unfamily friendly is ridiculous. The, Dancing with the Stars has done a lot of groundbreaking things and shown a lot of people that other people consider to be deviants because of their very presence. You know, people that, that other people don't want to see, like disfigured people like Paul McCartney's ex-wife. I can't remember her name. But she was on the show. She had lost a leg. Beautiful woman without a leg. People don't want to see that normally. But the more you get exposed to other people who look different and are different than you, the, the more you can evolve as a person and learn to tolerate people who are different than you. So the, the whole idea of, of Star Trek, you know, having the, the black and white kiss, you know, if you look at shows like The Brady Bunch where um, they showed a, a man and his wife in, in a bed together, you know, one bed instead of set separate beds. And people are like, oh, we don't want to see that, we don't want to see that. But it happens. The idea is that that's realistic. It happens. So Chaz Bono is realistic. And therefore, it doesn't make the show unfamily friendly. It makes it reality TV.